Yo koso. My name is Vince and this is You can play this. Enjo Kyotorine. You'll need the following: a copy of Ruroni Kenshin and Joke Kyotorine for the PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 2, cables, a controller and a good old memory card. Smash them all together and bam. No, that that's not going to work. Because if you haven't figured this out by viewing one of my Enjo Kyotorine videos, this game is a Japanese only release and you can't play that if you have a PAL or NTSC PlayStation 2. So Europeans and North Americans are shit out of luck. So you need a Japanese speaking PS2. Hajimemashite. Watashi no namae wa PlayStation 2 desu. Well, sort of, not really. It's just one of the many ways. Apart from our Japanese PlayStation 2 friend over here, there are several legal and illegal ways to go about doing this. Even though you technically can play pirated games with these methods, it doesn't mean you have to. I don't support piracy, okay? N now get your lawyers to calm down. Get a modded PlayStation 2 with a chip soldered into it that unlocks a region lock on the hardware. Now you just pop in that weird copy of Darling Special Backlash, Koi no Exhaust Heat, and go about your business. Another method, and this is the safest way, without surgically having a chip implanted into your PS2's brain, is this. Swap Magic. There are several editions of Swap Magic available as Sony kept changing the console's inner workings with every new version. So make sure you get the right edition to match the version of your console. The Swap Magic package includes a DVD, CD and a plastic tool used for, you know, swapping. You don't really need a plastic tool or any of that other stuff if you use a slim PS2. And since this is the easiest way to explain how to do this, I will be using a slim PS2 in this example. Because it doesn't require you to dismantle the disc tray cover or use the swapping tool. There's an excellent video on how to use the swapping magic with a fat PlayStation 2, so just watch this guy's tutorial on how to do that. Let's take it step by step. You'll need to block a couple of sensors on your PlayStation 2 in order to get a disc spinning with the disc tray still open. This is actually quite a simple procedure to do, so don't worry about it too much. Check out this video from Phoenix Media to get it done. So once you've blocked the sensors, open the top tray of the disc drive. Put in the Swap Magic disc and leave the tray open. You'll see a Swap Magic booting screen after the PlayStation 2 logo. When the Swap Magic disc stops spinning, you remove it and replace it with a Japanese game like Namono wa Suki Takara Sho Ganai Rain Suki Suyo Episode 3. Press X on your controller. The game's disc will start spinning. And BAM! You're done! You just swapped your way to success! This method doesn't void your warranty in any way. What? Why would you really care about that as no PlayStation 2 anywhere on this planet still has warranty? Now, there might be some issues with certain games as a few versions of Swap Magic seem to be a bit buggy. You will have the most success with version 3.6, not the most recent one, 3.8, which they nicknamed Coder. Or you could simply get this, Free McBoot, which works with the same basic principle. There are separate booting files on the memory card instead of on the disc, so you select the correct one and you'll be playing Tennis no Jisama, Doki Doki Survival, Sanroku no Mystic, in no time at all. I have never tried Free McBoot, but Swap Magic seems to do the trick. And for those among you who have been asking me about this, yes, I do play Enjo Kyotorine on my PC, because I've got a copy of the game and am thus legally allowed to play this digital version of it. Sort of, it, it's kind of a grey area. If you download an ISO file from the internet and play it, even if you do own an original copy of the game, then it's illegal. If you insert your PS2 disc and make the ISO file yourself, so the digital ROM, or um, backup, if you will, is created from your own physical copy, then it's okay. There are actually two reasons why I play Enjo Kyoto Rine this way. First, it allows me to easily record footage by using a screen capture program, instead of having to mess around with a DVD recorder and more cables. And second, because it allows me to give you footage in 720p or even 1080p, which obviously the PlayStation 2 isn't able to do. You can up the resolution as high as you'd like, though the improvements to the graphics do tend to drop off after 1080p. Contours, effects and everything else concerning graphical improvements are quite noticeable when compared to the original. This goes for every PS2 gem you've got lying in your closet, or box, collecting dust. There I have taught you how to play this without having to invite Pure Station 2 into your home. Instead you can teach your American or European PlayStation 2 how to run those awesome foreign games. Hopefully you got something out of this video, tutorial. 
You can direct any questions you have in the comment sections below and I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and you can also find more Ruroni Kenshin goodness on Rurokin.com, Facebook and Twitter too. Thank you for watching and have a great day.